May is National Pet Safety Month. I think we've mentioned that a couple of times. And when it comes to ticks, dogs are especially vulnerable because they're usually walking in high grass areas and also in the woods sure. and other places. Mm -hmm. But there are products that you can use to keep the pests away. And Sue Sarah is finding out those products for us this morning. Hello, Sue. Yes, I walked all the way across the street to Doggy Style on Market Street, where they have everything you need. But we have a veterinarian with us, Dr. Amber Karwacki, and you're with Heart and Paw. Yep. Callow Hill. Callow Hill. And you have other locations. Yep. Too. On East Market and Ludlow and then off of Gerard. Okay. We also have Lauren Drinkard from Doggy Style Good and on. Sammy, who you just met in the tees, and we'll be talking to them in just a minute. But doctor, tell us why we need to really search for ticks and, and make sure that our dogs don't get ticks. So ticks especially, they like to carry disease. So we get Lyme disease, so can the dogs. They There's, can. They can. Wow. There's also two other diseases called anaplasmosis and ehrlichia that are also dangerous to dogs that ticks carry as well. Okay. Okay, so now the, there are several ways we can prevent t ticks from getting onto our dog. Let's go through them. First, these are the uh, topical ones. Right, so we have two topicals. So there's the front line um, as well as the canine and bad ticks. Both of those will do fleas as well as ticks, and they go on the back, so they're a liquid they're version. They're drops. Mm -hmm, yeah. Absolutely. And then you kind of rub them in. Kind of rub them in. Voila. But you don't right. like that if you have little kids. If you have little kids, you have to watch because you don't want them getting it on their hands. So you okay. either have to do it like once the kids are in bedtime, or if you have kids, maybe we'll do a different option for or you. Or we have other options like a pill. Right. So there's pills. So there's Capsular, which is just the flea one. So if we have fleas in the household, we'll do that plus one of the other ones. Okay, so we have multi-action there. Right. So, because Absolutely. we don't want fleas either. Don't want fleas either. Okay. And then there's Semperica Trio. So there's Semperica Trio, which also does heartworm as well as flea and tick, which you have to get from your veterinarian. Okay. Or there's plain Semperica, which just does the fleas and the ticks. Okay, but we don't want heartworm <laughs> don't either. Don't want heartworm either. Okay. But those are a pill form. So hopefully your dogs eat them. They're beef flavored. You can okay. hide them in peanut butter or cheese or something like that. Right. They love the food. Love the food. All right, now we have the collar. Right, so there's a Seresto collar, so that does fleas and ticks, and it lasts for eight months. So if you're horrible at remembering, <laughs> that's a good option because it's good for eight full months. You don't have to worry about if you touch it or if your kids touch it, so it's very helpful for that as well. All right, but we still, when we go out for walks and we've had beautiful weather this week, we have to check our dog for ticks. How do we do that? Absolutely. So when you're looking for ticks, especially if they're short-haired, mm -hmm. like Sammy here, it's really easy, so you just want to like run your hands all over him. He's a good color where you can actually spot the black tick on yeah, him. his hair isn't real long. Right. If you have a longer hair dog or a black hair dog like I have, right. you really just have to like feel around him. They love hiding behind the ears, check under your collar, especially the groined area. They love to hide in there or in the armpit area. Those darn ticks. And then if you find one, what do you do? So um, if you have fingernails like I do, you can right. actually pick with your fingernails off of him. If you have tweezers, that'll work too. Or Doggy Style has this little tick key that you put that. in. So say Sammy Mister had a tick here, yeah. either fingers or a tweezer, you would slide the tick into there and then just gently pull off. That's right. You're going to be okay, Sammy. Now let's talk to Lauren. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Lauren, first of all, loves Good Day Philadelphia. Thank you. And tell us about Sammy and where we can adopt him. Sweet Sammy is here at our Market Street location. He is see him right in a two-and-a-half-year-old terrier uh, pit bull mix. Um, he's been here for about three weeks now. Um, that, 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 that is fairly long for our pups. But he came from Tennessee? He, he did come yeah. from Tennessee. Aww. And he's looking for his forever home. Uh, with that face, I think from being on TV, now that he's a star and everything, I think he'll find. <laughs> It. And and uh, we can get all the products we saw here right here at Doggy Star? Yes. Yep. And we have go. 12 locations in the city, so any of our stores will have them. All right. We'll be tick free for the rest <laughs> of the spring and summer. Back to you. Yeah. Check your pets and check yourself.